Hey, YouTube. So, uh, we can see that there was a slight gap in my, you know, uploads and shit. You feel me? So, while I was... I believe in being down, but not out. You feel me? So, while I was down, I was doing things to progress in other ways, right? Like, I couldn't progress in a specific way. So, let me find another way I can progress. I used to be a gym rat, and I my body, I love it. You feel me? So, I've been getting back into physical health content when it comes to fitness and this and the third so if you want to see more shit like this on the channel basically is what i'm saying let me know all right the only 10 exercises men need to build muscle this man right here let's go for the rest of time yeah. let's go you only had 10 exercises mm -hmm. to hold on to and grow as much muscle as you could what would you choose and why? Incline, uh, incline presses, no question about it. Dumbbell? Uh, dumbbell, more than likely, because, you know, it's just, you can do a lot with the dumbbells over the barbell, right? Um, I always want that Agreed. shelf up here. It yeah. looks great in t-shirts, and uh, yeah. I'm you know, working on it. If you're hitting a side shot, me? you want the upper pec development to exist. Dude, there's something about that angle that's so comfortable as well. Yeah. It feels so nice. It feels right. Yeah, it feels it right. Yeah, you don't feel as much. It in feels danger. natural. Yeah, yeah, that's a good in my way to opinion. Put it. Yeah, and even when you're doing talk. flies, you know, like you can just it just feels so good, you know. So that would be one of them. Side laterals for sure. Mm -hmm. Dumbbell lateral. I ain't trying to pause too many times, fam, but that's just insane. All right, that's Please. it. Mm -hmm. that's uh, standing, just, seated, standing. For sure. And where do you, what were your cues on this? I knew you were going to say this. Yeah, from the side. Are you out to the side? Are you out in front a little bit no, here? Like what are you right thinking? Here. To the side. Yeah. Yep. To the side. Are you leading with, you elbows, leading with arms? Yeah. Uh, more just, uh, I guess that would just be with arms, right? Yep. Yep. You know? so yep. Because sometimes you see people almost flaring up with dumbbells down. But as you did that, your traps moved. Yep. So I don't need that. Yep. I don't want that. Lower yep. trap. Now that's going to, uh-uh. I just <laughs> need to get it. If I'm working this, mm -hmm. I understand it's a secondary muscle. But I don't need to be. You're isolating. Because you end up doing this. You see guys like they come down. No, yeah, Super ain't this. no dummy. You see it. Come on now. Why is that moving? Can I deactivate it? Sure. Right here. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. So, okay. Can I? Oh. Can I deactivate it? As someone who's like, I spent, uh, I'd say probably from 15 to 25 for lifting heavy in the gym all the time you feel me i had some atrophy sink in because depression time wasn't there whole bunch of shit right but as someone who i feel like i'm skilled at this i can help my friends develop muscle i do it all the time um but when he said can i deactivate it that's a great way to figure out first of all your mind and body connection okay Second, holy shit, it makes it so much easier to learn how to isolate by thinking, how do I deactivate? You feel me? Sorry. Side note, ADD. Go ahead. Let's go. one arm preachers. Mm. one arm preacher curls. Pain dumbbells in the again. ass. It could be on a machine or dumbbells, you know. But okay. but since we're going to you know, only have some dumbbells on a deserted island, we're going to do that. Pick isolation. You can use whatever you yeah. want. This yeah. Is, so you got the best methods. gym in, in history, but yeah, you can only so use 10 things. Definitely a preacher curl. Okay. Um, and why single? I almost want to write this down. Because I can concentrate back. more on one arm than two. Mm -hmm. um, I can also isolate and understand why is one arm stronger than the other? And am I performing the rep the same on either right. arm? Now, if I'm in a fixed position, I can't tell. So I need to see. I need to feel. And I need to physically see this. So I are need you to... supinating on that or are you going to Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yep. But I also got to recognize, like, am I having any, uh, you know, bicep tendon stuff and shit like that? And um, which I actually have right now. I'm like, damn. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, that's, that's three. So that's three uh, hack squats for sure. For sure. Hack Why? squats. Oh my gosh, it just feels incredibly strong to be in that position. I love it. It's I'm gonna look yeah, that one up. I, I did a lot of damage on that machine. Um what are your cues when doing hack squat? Well, you know, the platform. I can go wide, I can go at the top, I can go at the bottom, I can go narrow. 
you know, I like to go a little bit I'll give more you, you can have that. That can be all part of four. That can yeah, be, exactly. Yeah. Okay, see, okay, but it's all the same machine. The system. Yeah, so. You're playing the system. Yeah. Okay, so that's four. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> um, People in their element, dog. Rear delts. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, face pulls with the, uh, yeah. with the, with the rope. Okay. I, I love that. Yeah. At um, a roundabout eye height. Face pulls on. with the... Uh, I study this man a lot, okay? He's not showing his secret. Uh, with the with the rope. Oh. And you can lightweight see it on his face that he's not giving out all his information. He's lightweight doing it by habit right here. So one thing that Phil said during, when you're trying, when you're doing your, I don't have room to do it, but when you're doing your face pulls is use your fingers. Don't you like lock in with your hands. Use uh, your fingers to lock on to the ends of whatever you're using, bar, rope, whatever and use your fingers to pull to your face and you're going to really activate those rear delts. Okay. I, I love that. Yep. At um, around about eye height. Yeah, I take uh, yeah. notes. Right, right here. Yep. Um, Lifting and women, yeah. okay? Since we're using that rope, only point you know, in tricep extensions. Only points in this world. Take notes. Overhead? Down. Okay. Yep. yep. So that's what? Six? Six. Right? six? Yep. Four okay. More. Four more. We got to throw another... I'm gonna go back just in Down. case. Okay. Yep. yep. So that's what six. Six. Right, six. Yep. Four okay. More. Four more. We gotta throw another chest movement in there. So, um, I mean, we did the incline dumbbell press. We gotta have an incline dumbbell fly. Um, Why put both of those in? What are you getting out of the fly that well, you're not I'm getting out? Getting a good stretch, and I'm able to contract, you know, differently as well, mm -hmm. working that same plane. Um, they are separate. Back, back. we, we got to throw some back in there. So underhand barbell, uh, uh, rows, underhand, bent over, bent over rows, underhand. Yep. yep. Um, what's your reason for going underhand rather than overhand there? Um, because I've noticed that overhand, I'm getting more of. I'm Ooh. initially you're gonna feel it more in your forearms mm -hmm. right here. Yep. And I'm only gonna get so much, and I feel like it's more like I'm gonna. Mm. There's more margin for error, I, I believe. Okay. Whereas if you're coming here, I don't feel it as much, I'm and it's simulating to. what I would do on stage. Put, pulling the elbows back so would you do uh i guess a, a part of that as well is restricting the uh injury risk from being bent over so much like underhand you're always going to be a little weaker so would you do that from a rack rather than from the floor oh i've done that from the floor right yeah i've done I mean, that from of the course floor. a lot of axial still. loads being at that angle yeah, in your lower then, back but it's much less than a deadlift i suppose yeah but the, sometimes you can go to like a squat rack and then it'll have like the little bars there safety so you can bars. pull so you get safety bars <clears throat> and you just pull it off of that cool okay i think you've got two left so i got two left oh boy what have we got let's recap so no, we've got I, the I've incline caps, you got yeah. incline dumbbell incline fly lateral you have lateral raises yeah you have hack squats yep you the have single arm, single arm uh preacher push downs face push downs pulls. face pulls and then i bent over underhand you know what? I'm going to go with pull-ups. Um, Neutral, underhand, overhand. Overhand. Overhand wide. And I guess last one would be... Another legs? Step mill. You could use the step mills, the 10th exercise. And did you... Because I can carve out the legs. I can, you know, I can, I can do glutes with that. Did you ever do that weighted? Yeah, actually, I did. I, I wore a weight vest for what show was that? Weight vest. It was early in my career. Weapon. We were like weight vests and I would wear like ankle weights. And I did something that no one else ever did. I was using um, East M units while I was doing cardio. Was like a Compex? Yeah, I used Compex because I was sponsored by them for a while. So I was doing Compex on Step Mill. Dude, anyone that thinks that uh, electric stim training is not like put a, an SP6 or an SP8 on you. And t turn it up to 25% and try and do a squat, an air squat. Yeah. And tell me that it's, it's yeah, not absolute I, agony. That that would, uh, the only thing I, I, I think now is like, you know, the neuroplasticity and like also like neurofeedback you get by using one of those machines. I don't, I would love to be able to test that mm. because I think with it doing the work kind of for, for you, you yeah. you may lose some of that. Mm. So you have to be careful, I think, I with, feel that same um, way overloading with assisted it. benches. Yes, because um, you can push it further. Because you can you push can... it further than you can really do it. So I know I did that, but I'm an extreme athlete, you know, with that. Extreme. When it comes to the stepper, 
very very popular cardio exercise for mm -hmm. bodybuilders what are people missing what are they getting wrong when you see other they're people? holding on to the they're holding they're hugging the damn thing you know what they're also doing by doing that they're rounding out their back and you think about doing this you're i mean just me doing this right now like that doesn't seem comfortable why not just stand straight I just slow it down maybe maybe you know what i'm saying maybe not having that five or six because i gotta and you hear that person stomping on the damn things. If they weighed 250 pounds or something like that, you, you know their knees would be shot. Their knees would be to toast. So you're using control even on so the step. So you should, you should, you should, you should, you should have it at level one, level two, and slowly do it. Now it, now the reason why you won't do that, ladies and gentlemen, is because it's boring. But think about how much muscle activation you can have on that with your uh, glutes and quads with each step actually being purpose driven. So my whole mentality when I would do cardio, man, I'm giving y'all all the damn secrets. I me. mean, uh, Phil, bro. Put it like this, you gotta gamify your cardio as much as possible. So if you could have every step count towards something, mm. you could actually sculpt glutes, quads, and isn't that the whole point of doing mm. cardio? Or you just wanna sweat? We'll get back to talking to Phil in one minute, but first I need to tell you about Factor. I get asked all the time about how to build and brilliant. maintain muscle. And he, the he, most important thing, the first thing you need to do is ensure you are getting one gram per kilo of body weight in protein every single day. But as you know, if- Code MW50 for Factor Meals, help a brother out, all right? If you have ever tried, never, never have time to make an improvement. Wait, are we ending If you enjoyed that clip with Phil, oh. then press here for the full length two all right, well, son of a biscuit. All right, well, that man's name is Phil Heath. This man's name is Chris Williamson, as a matter of fact. Hold on. Boop. Boop. Because I listen to him on his on my walks very often, his podcast, whatever, his interviews. And uh, we're out of here, dog. It's time for you to hit the noti bell, get to know me well. Ain't nothing left to say. Everybody have a blessed day. Hey, if you enjoyed this, let me know, all right? I'm out. Peace.